Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. And here are my earls for CroneFindlay.com, which is where my uh, designs and patterns and ebooks and PDFs can all be purchased. And ToddyTalksCrafts.com is my blog, which is where I post the support material for all these video tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I, uh, there are a few tricks to warping with uh, when you're using loom extenders on either your little guy or big sister, the 12 or 16 inch uh, Mirex looms. So that's what this tutorial is all about. So when you're warping your uh, Mirex loom with the extenders in, you can see, my goodness, it's ever so tall. I can't get it all in the um, frame all at once. It just goes and goes and goes. It's just oh so Alice in Wonderland. Now, here's the trick that I do. I use two chairs sitting slightly apart one from the other, so there's a gap between them down there. And then that allows me to be able to pass my yarn, uh, my warp yarn, around the loom without any um, problems with having the loom um, balanced up on bricks. And, you know, I just thought of this um, for the extenders. But I like this much better than using the bricks. And I think I might uh, switch to doing this when I'm warping um, my other, um, I have a Joni and uh, she's pretty big. And so I think I'm gonna do that uh, for her as well. Just wanna show you a couple of other little tricks here. Jean on Ravelry came up with the brilliant idea of making little tags that have your, um, your, um, that tell you what the EPI is for your spring and just leave it permanently tied and it says you know this is my 16 inch loom and this is the 12 EPI um, spring so that way you're not always measuring every time which I think is just brilliant thank you Jean for that one and here's a little tip that I use too I find when I'm using when I'm weaving with the extenders on that it's nice to have a temple because especially what I'm doing right now um, tends to pull in so when I'm weaving and I've woven up you know a certain amount then I will attach the the um, paper clip see it, I folded a rubber band in half. Here, I'll bring it up so you can see it a bit more easily here. Okay, I folded the rubber band in half and opened up a paper clip and then squeezed this, the short end, closed over the two ends of the uh, rubber band. And then I will, I don't put the, the hook into the warp strands because, of course, you know what that would do. That would just open up your warp strands. No, put it in um, into below the fell line and it just helps to open up your warp a little bit more. I mean, you're, you're weaving and just hold the edges a little bit better for you. And uh, oh, the other hint, of course, is definitely have um, some cardboard, cut a piece of cardboard that is the size of your um, the space between the two uh, layers, because when you're setting up for your warping, I mean, you know, for putting your treadles on, then uh, you want to be able to have that space clearly defined. You don't want to have um, the, the visual of the, um, the strands back here. So definitely have a piece of cardboard or masonite between your layers. And when I'm putting my um, heddles on, I weave a stick through so that I have my, um, my the, the warp strands to the front and so that I'm not having to count individual strands. I know these uh, warp strands are in front of my shed stick, which I will turn on its side, and then it just makes my handling process go so much faster than when that um, set of warp strands is warped. Turn the shed uh, shedding device down, 
and do the same thing, lift the every other strand so that it makes it that much easier by having the, the um, shed stick woven through. So I'm going to go and get my heddles on and uh, get weaving. So I love working with the extenders and it gives you um, oh so much more length. You can do banners and scarves and uh, table runners and um, Oh, manner. Oh, yes. Long ankle bands. Oh, yes. Oh, love them. Love them, love them. They're great. But that's, you know, I guess you could tell that I like them. Okay, so there we go. Happy weaving. Talk to you soon. And remember, two chairs set uh, a little bit apart. You could use two little tables, but I like having the chairs because they're lower so that it's easier ergonomics to have uh, your little chairs sitting there holding them up for you. Happy weaving. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.